Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $97,876.50. In the past year, I am up $25,805.10. Year to date for the year 2024, I am currently up $7,486.71. Today was a green day for me. I made $1,705.87 during the day. After hours, I am down $129.02. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling LUV $28 covered calls. These expire July 5th. My total return, I am down $290. I'm selling Google $180 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $109. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $70. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $410. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return $546. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $188.55. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $26,884.01. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.30. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $4,060.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $102.39. My average cost, $60. Total return, $12,717. I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood. Robinhood is at $22.38. My average cost, $17.53. My total return, $4,000. $855. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $28.33. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, $150. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $179.62. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $3,714. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $60.61. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $582. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $80. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, $370.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is $114,631.97. My margin used is $103,000. $743.79, which leaves me with $10,888.18 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $45,975.95. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. 
The daily interest that I am paying is $19.19 and I'm borrowing $1,000 interest free. So finally, a bunch of my, you know, covered call positions expired today. As you can see, they're gone from my portfolio. If you've seen my previous updates, I had, you know, uh, covered calls on Amazon, on um, Verizon, things like that. However, they all expired already. So now they're gone and my Verizon shares got called away because I chose a strike price of 39 and Verizon ended up at, I think, above $40. Yeah, Verizon ended up at $40.27 today. So that's why I got uh, my shares called away. Yep. So I got a dividend. Where did I look on show more? Interesting. It didn't show up here, but it happened. I know it happened. Um, okay. So now my Verizon position is gone for my portfolio and I have more buying power. I used to have around 3000. Now I have $10,000 in buying power. So I'll have to decide next week, um, what to do with this. And I'm also going to decide to do more covered calls on my positions, either that or spreads. I'm thinking, uh, either one should be fine, but yeah. Things should be hopefully looking green moving forward. In the past month, it's been such a rocky hill. I mean, I went down to 94,000, then all the way up to 102,000, then back down to 94,000 again. It's been kind of up and down in the past month. Um, so hopefully things will, you know, get better. I get more green days and I make more money from here. But uh, for now, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. I'll keep on making more updates in the future. I'll let you guys know, you know, what new positions I'm opening. If any positions get uh, removed from my portfolio, anything like that, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.